kind of came out of nowhere. Like Jimmy was on, a little unlucky on his last shot. I, I thought we had a good sniff at two, maybe three, but four was like a bless from heaven. <laughs> a blessing from heaven. <laughs> John Morris is a smart girl. He was you know, moving the rocks around very smartly, so it was just a question of not falling to the traps and making the obvious and easy shots and maybe making sure that we would have a double later on in the ends, and most of the ends were able to you know, get out with the key shots that were limiting the damage. For our team to be successful, we need to be consistent. Like if we can play like we've played the first three games, we got a sniff of making the playoffs. It's just like we still have, there's still eight more games left, and we have to find a way to keep up the same tempo for those eight games. If that happens, we've got a chance. If now we've got some uh, some little downs during the week, that's where it's going to hurt us. Didn't have control of that one very often that game. Uh, they had a couple chances for two earlier in the game where they didn't get them. So um, then we got an opportunity to get a steal on nine and. The odds say you'll usually win up uh, one coming home, but uh, he certainly had a chance on his last one there. He's been struggling and didn't really have the ice figured out as much as we had earlier games, so that part was a little bit uh, uh, tough to deal with, but uh, we got some rocks in good spots that last end, actually. Well, that was kind of the key. Uh, huge turn. Uh, he jams one on. Otherwise, he's going to get a two or three, probably, and we're going to be chasing for the rest of the game. So uh, fortunate we just had a terrible end and got a good break, and uh, I made my hit and stick. And uh, stole one, so uh, yeah, definitely that was the turning point for sure. The best part about it is that we know where we can uh, play a heck of a lot better than that. Uh, we struggled with the speed to this afternoon. It definitely was a lot faster, and there was some curl, a lot more curl, so that was great. But uh, yeah, we were just missing too many draws heavy today, and you know, finally, finally got it together late in the game. It's interesting how some people think it's it's uh, an easy romp through this stuff, but it's not. I mean, these guys all know how to play. They've been here before. I think every every team that's uh, out here, except for maybe two, have, have had a ton of experience out here and uh, know what it takes to win these games. And uh, if we're a little off, like we've been, we it, we're, we're we're squeaking by. We were running out of time. We only had 30 seconds, so uh, um, that, we knew that was that was the shot. I knew I kind of had a little bit of bagging. I kind of I can kind of cheese dog off my own or come to the back one if I'm a little heavy. But you know. It, it's slick out there. It was a little slicker this afternoon than this morning. Um, I felt great this morning, and then uh, I think that's when I've played my best game, and that's the game you end up losing. So guess what? I guess that's the briar. Oh, we're having fun. <laughs> yeah, it's been a blast. Um, yeah, playing pretty well, uh, but the experience is just nothing like you've ever uh, curled with curled before. Um, I've been to a couple of other Canadian championships, and uh, yeah, it's nothing like this. Oh, just the atmosphere, the crowds, the people yelling, people uh, holding up signs all over the place. Um, other than the fact that it's in an arena, the only other real arena is our provincials that we play in all the time. But uh, it, uh, it's way more electric here, other than the fact that, you know, you, you're wearing this on your back. It's uh, just awesome.